Hi, my name is Pritesh Mandalya. I'm here to show you a demo of Wall's first 65 nanometer Sync Noble SRAM with error correcting code. Cypress has recently launched the 36 meg 65 nanometer standard synchronous SRAM with ECC and Noble's latency known as Noble SRAM with ECC. In this demo, I'll be comparing Cypress's previous generation 90 nanometer Sync Noble device with the new 65 nanometer Sync Noble device with ECC. This is a base board with Altera FPGA on it, which is running a memory controller at 250 MHz speed and talking to this daughter card with a socket for the Sync Noble TQFP packages. This power supply provides core voltage VDD and IO voltage VDDQ to the memory. This screen shows the signal tap software, which is a digital logic analyzer provided in the Altera Quartus tool. I have the same setup running over here. This setup will have our legacy 90 nanometer Noble SRAM and this will have the latest 65 nanometer Noble SRAM with ECC. Cypress has introduced 65 nanometer devices with ECC and without ECC. The ECC logic is transparent to customers. So all 65 nanometer devices are form, fit and function compatible with the 90 nanometer devices. Now I'll insert the chips and compare power consumption for 90 nanometer and 65 nanometer devices. Currently both setups are running identical pattern at 250 MHz. The 65 nanometer Noble SRAM device is saving more than 50% power. The memory controller always checks the read data from the memory with the expected data. If they don't match, then it will flag the error signal. The memory controller is running and it is capturing the signal from the memory. We need to monitor two things on this screen. This error signal and where it says waiting for trigger. I have triggered this on the error signal, which means when the expected data is not equal to the read data, the error signal becomes 1 and it will get triggered, which will show the error signal going high. This small dot is the americium metal, which radiates very low energy alpha particles and gamma rays. It's used in a smoke alarm. I have open top devices running in these demo boards, and now I'll put this metal on top of this socket. So the metal will radiate the alpha particle and gamma rays on the SRM die, which will flip the memory array a bit and will generate the soft errors. The signal tab has been triggered and offloading the data. You can see the error bit is high. This means the soft error has occurred and we are seeing the single bit error coming out from the 90 nanometer device because we do not have ECC logic in these devices. As soon as I'll take this metal from the socket, the signal tab will wait for the trigger, which means SRAM is passing the operation. Now I'm going to perform the same experiment on our new 65 nanometer Noble SRAM with ECC. Here I'm placing the metal on the socket and signal tap is not showing any error, which means the ECC logic is correcting the read data and the SRAM always sends out the right data to the host. This proves the reliability of Cypress's 65 nanometer Sync Noble SRAM with ECC as compared to Cypress's 90 nanometer Sync Noble devices and also compared to the competition. For more information about Cypress's 65 nanometer standard Sync and Noble SRAMs, please visit the Sync SRM product page on cypress.com. Thanks for watching.